Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol DPW. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I let you this time frame, I think that is a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to state the obvious, but uh, another nice move today. And really a nice past couple of days when you consider that the price not that long ago was down here flirting with these lows. And now all of a sudden it's all the way up there. Uh, so the price continues to make nice upward movements. Yeah, there's a little bit of a pullback today. But I mean, today. I mean, when you look at multiple days, the price has been doing a great job. And that's kind of what I want to get focused on here. Updates, probably not right, really the right word, though. I think confirmation would be the right word. Uh, confirmation of what, well, for those of you that did watch yesterday's video, I talked about $1.90 uh, being the potential area of resistance denoted by the red line. And surprise, surprise, you can see right here, that is right where the price is currently struggling. Now, to give some credit where credit's due, sure, the bulls did break up above that area. So I would agree that the $1.90 mark was weakened up today. However, as far as the chart is still concerned, this would still need to be considered that area of resistance at the time being. Yeah, maybe it's weakened up, but $1.90 is still that near-term level of resistance. As far as levels of support are concerned, the price is now up above this pink line, which is the famous 200 period simple moving average. If the price can stay above that pink line going forward, that would definitely be a huge sign of strength. But don't get me wrong, it's not like it's a must hold level or anything. So if the price does fall below the 200 period, I'm not saying the entire chart's ruined or anything like that. But yeah, in the event the price can somehow manage to stay up above that area, that would be a huge sign of power. And then also from the bigger picture, keep an eye on the other moving average, that purple line right there. Keywords being moving averages. So as time goes by, this purple line is going to move itself higher and higher. So as long as the price can stay up above there, then the overall trend is currently in the bull's favor, no doubt about it. Now, in the event this $1.90 mark can be broken, I mean, like I said, it was weakened up today, where are the next potential areas of resistance? So with that, after $1.90, next key level to keep an eye on from a resistance standpoint, right up there at about 205. So $1.90, 205, next couple areas of resistance. Anyway, slice it though, very nice move today, and we'll see if the price can continue to build these higher lows or not. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.